Hello, I'm Entrilisium and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger DLC where we're going to play some lovely World War II strategy action. So, we're going to be playing a new game and we'll be starting 1936 as per usual and playing Communist China. Communist China has a load of new stuff added by this patch. They actually start off with only one province, uh, but the patch and the DLC do give them a lot of new mechanics, including some really badass music. You, however, do start off with a lot of penalties. Apart from the fact that you're just one state, you also have the aftermath of the Long March. Minus 50% factory production, minus 10% construction speed. Oh, sorry, 50% construction speed. Uh, low popular support. Stability, minus 18%. War support, minus 18%. And power struggles, 25% extra cost for a lot of different things. It's not great. It's really tough. And I'm going to do it. We might die. So, uh, as Communist China, we start off here, literally this one province. We have Shanxi nearby, Zaibei San Ma. I'm probably pronouncing these hilariously wrong. I would be sorry, but it's just kind of my thing by now. It's just what I do. We have a place uh, nearby called, called China. Um, China. China? China. China. China uh, is nearby. We also have Mongolia, Sikiang, Tibet. Uh, down below, of course, it's not really going to come in as much. We do have Yuan and Guangxi clique, which are also part of the Chinese... Uh, Empire? Well, former Chinese Empire. So, we have a few plans here. Now, here's the big thing. We have Japan to worry about. Japan will be kicking stuff off. We don't have historical AI enabled, so stuff might be different. There is a chance. But nine times out of ten, Japan is going to kick stuff off of the Marco Polo Bridge incident with China. Then they'll turn their attention to us. We've got two options. We either need to get strong enough that we can then fight China and while Japan is trying to fight China, we grab a load of China, and then we have to face Japan. Or, we come to an arrangement with China where we let them get attacked, and then we attack Japan, take advantage of the fact that most of their troops will be somewhere down here fighting, and go up into here. That's the other option. Both of them are very, very risky, and it's going to come down to that crunch period of which do we choose? Do we choose to backstab China, or do we choose to attack Japan in the flank? And we might well lose, because both of them are pretty damn tough. Um, Japan maybe a little bit more so, but again, I think we have a better opportunity with Japan. Because if we defeat Japan, we're probably okay to take on China. Iffy. Whereas if we fight China, taking on Japan afterwards could be very tough. If we have the backing of, say, Russia, we could do it. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. Let's start. So here's my plan. We're going to take out Shanxi. ASAP. Like, literally, before we unpause, we're going to talk about our strategy to get the war goal as soon as possible. We take out Shanxi. Then we take out Zaibei San Ma. Maybe we take out Sikiang. Depends if they get involved in Comintern. Then we hit Tibet. Maybe Nepal and Bhutan. You know, just whatever we can grab before stuff starts kicking off over here. This is going to be a fire sale. We're just going out. We're grabbing guns and ammo and fire axes and emergency rations because we know that, like, the apocalypse is coming. It's just, we know what's going on. So, what do we want to do? First of all, we start with eight divisions. Um, you will notice that a few of them are green. Yay! We're going to put them into an army. We are going to get Lin Bao, who I think is our highest attack. Joint highest attack, but also has mountaineer. So, you know, that's going to be useful. And also the infantry trait. Uh, you can go to the front line with Shangzi. I was going to change your color. So, like, we can color coordinate of our country. Make you like a yellow. There we go. And the star. Yeah! Maybe like a tint it slightly more that way. There we go. I like it. And the point is that you're going to go to the front. Now, the idea here that I have is that eight units isn't really a lot, especially when the quality we have. But... Yeah, they have two right now. They'll probably have more by the time we go to war because they'll probably emergency deploy people. But if we can have enough people that we can just push past their currently existing units and just then sit on their stuff, we'll be happy. The issue will be getting enough units to sit on their stuff and hold it. Um, we'll probably, like, train another two units. Maybe make them equal with reinforcing. Oh, whoops. Add unit. It's a location. Ooh, there we go. And that's going to be our focus. Now, our focus, like I said, is going to be war immediately. And part of the issue we have on this is 
Justify war goal. We have retake core state because, hey, we're China. I mean, we're the other China. We're like the China Mark II, the China Light, the China Communist Edition. And we consider this a core state. There we go. Oh, cool Chinese music. Right. We need 125 days. Eh. We need 25 political power. Eh. We only have two. We'll get two per day if we don't get a focus. And that's what we're going to do. We're not going to start researching a focus because we want the two per day. We could lengthen that time from 25 days to 50 by having a focus going, but there's a few other things we want to do with political power that we're not going to do. Political power. <laughs> Sorry. It's one of those days where just words are just not working for me. So we're going to just hold on to our political power. We're not going to spend it. We're not going to invest it in the focus. We're going to specialize in just going straight out and getting Shanxi as quickly as possible. We need to get that and we need to end the war and move on to our next war. So focuses, you can wait for later. Free civilian factories. We've got free civilian factories. Yay. Oh. Yeah, we can't build anything. Uh, we have minus 60% reconstruction speed. So just going to like yeah, build an infrastructure. We'll build an infrastructure. That's fine. Research. We're going to go and, you know, my normal is like we get production, construction, and electronic engineering if we have a third slot. We have two slots. And we don't need construction right now because we've still got the aftermath of the long march, which is minus 50% construction speed until we get rid of that. Eh. We're going to go and we're going to get infantry equipment. So we're going to get support weapons. And we're going to get infantry equipment type 24 rifle. Because, um... We need all the combat buffs for infantry. Because we're only going to be using infantry. And part of the reason is, if we have a quick look at them, four units, nothing else. Six units, nothing else. Our currently existing units are three of the poor quality four units who are regular. And five people who are sitting there green. Yeah. Also get you to train and go aggressive. Offensive line. Maybe we'll pull that back a bit. Ah! Whoops. Yeah. Right. I think we're good. Uh, we're training units. We're doing research. When will our... Justify War Goal be done? 125 days plus... Like... 12. Okay, so we're going to watch our political power here. We need to wait for that to hit 25. It's going to hit 26, because oh, even numbers, but whatever. And now. Hey, well timed. Justify war goal. That's going to be done 18th of May. Right, 18th of May is when it's going to kick off. We can also start getting a focus now, though. So, we've got a few main trees. We've got the invite foreign investors. It gets you a load of different things depending on who you're going to um, side with. You can side with multiple people. And then there are some issues like you'll have Mission to Germany. You can't have that if you get that with the Soviet Union. You have to pick between France and Britain. You have to pick between the US and Japan. As you would kind of expect. You also have land, redistribu land redistribution. There we go. I can words, uh, which is to do with like your technology, uh, your stability and stuff, and your industry. Actually, that's not industry. That's like home politics. Uh, I believe that most of the industry stuff is under here from foreign investors. There's little bits actually. It's kind of mishmashed. It's a very different tree to normal. And here we have the main one. This is the three different branches of communism we could go down. Firstly, we have the normal Marxist orthodoxy. Um, effectively, not really Marxist orthodoxy. It's what the Soviets called their thing, but it's actually more like Stalinism. Whatever, you know, we're going to get into the individual branches of communism. Um, but yeah, it's effectively side with Stalin. That's it. Side with Stalin. Uh, Marxist orthodoxy, you get stuff like, oh, um, uh, you get a different leader. Then you get, oh, remove the power struggles. Then you get, remove the aftermath of the long march. Important, because remember, we've got 50% construction penalty until we have that removed. Then you get, oh, um, hey, uh, Soviet Russia, you want to you wanna get, uh, you, know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you effectively get into a faction with Soviet Russia. 
This one over here, we're going to do the opposite side first. It's social democracy. You go for that kind of mishmash of vague socialism with a bit of democracy inside. Uh, and you get coalition government where you get with China and you're like, Hey, China, you want to be buddy-buddy against that Japan dude? And they're like, yeah. Um, then you get Purge the Radicals from his power struggles. You get uh, China loses stability. The idea being that you focus on taking down China from within while you're all sort of being buddy-buddy. And then you can take over the leadership of the whole Chinese region because they have a sort of national leader thing. The, that's a mechanic we'll get into later. Then I believe you can... I think it's remove their leader. Yeah. Hyang Kai Shek dies. Who is the Chinese leader? And then you get down to socialist mar uh, market economy, which removes the aftermath of the long march. Now bear in mind, that's a long way to remove that construction penalty. It's really painful. The third option is agrarian socialism, which is uh, vaguely what, what Mao did. Agrarian socialism. We get the aftermath of the long march removed immediately, and then you get a buff to factories and construction speed. You go from minus 50% construction speed to plus 25. So effectively, that's going to be like a 250% buff compared to where we're at, because if we're at 50 and we go to 125, that's a big difference. We also get uh, removed power struggles. Maoism, we get some base stability. We also get infantry equipment production, which is great, considering we're going to be focusing on infantry. Marxism with Chinese characteristics. Uh, we can create a faction. So that's us being like, hey, uh, we're not exactly like Russia, so um, do we want to make our own thing? Then you can proclaim the People's Republic with either of these two, um, which we become known as the People's Republic of China, the PRC. And then you can get that as well, which does give you some, you know, bonuses to things as well as removing the Long March. Now, importantly, this is the you will side of Russia. This is the you will side with China and then take them down from within. This in the middle is the you can go it alone, but you can still do the normal diplomacy. I think we're going to do the middle tree because it gives us the option of what we want to do. The first one gives us political power, which, hey, I'm not going to turn that down. That's going to be pretty useful. And I'm wondering, maybe, could we, like... Could we, like, try and, like, start a coup or something? Like, could we, could we like, make people... Do you want to know? I was going to be like, we boost communism in, in Japan. Maybe we could get Japan to like, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. You can't boost popularity because of any political power. Well, minus eight. How did we end up on minus eight? I'm not sure how we ended up on minus eight, but that's the thing. Okay. When did that happen? You know what? That's probably worth it. Because at some point, we're going to want to try and get Japan to have issues. Even if it just removes the troops away from the front line temporarily. Right, how's that training coming along? No, you want getting an equipment. That's fine. Yeah, you're very short of equipment. Probably need like, what, like 1,500? 1,350, yeah, close. Now, aim of the game in this war is just to hit their victory points nice and quick. Because once we start going to war, they're going to start training units. And as soon as those units hit the 20% mark, they will deploy them weakened. But they're still going to deploy them. And we need to make sure that we can take those strong points, maybe have half the country, and then they'll be close to giving in. We just need to maybe take a bit more land. We just need to do it quick, though. We're not looking for a normal conventional war where we line up and we fight on a line. We're looking for the, we have more people than you. Not in the, we have more manpower, but in the way that we can cover more regions. We can move around you. Someone hits you, holds you in place, the other people walk around the back and then go, Hi, we own your capital. Rhineland is remilitarized. Okay. Strengthen the central sectariat. Excellent. 
uh, agrarian socialism remove that long march thing. Thank you very much. And with the spare political power, I believe... Yeah. Zhu... Zhuangqing? Zhu. Uh, an infantry expert who gives us 15% division defense for infantry and 10% division attack for infantry. Bearing in mind we're going to be nearly entirely infantry for a good portion of the game. That's amazing. I'm not even going to look at any others. I think I know what they are anyway. Um, so, yeah. Gonna ignore everything else there. Once you get uh, trained, I'll stop training you. Because I only need them to not have the 25% malice. Your liberation is near! Sorry, I blew the mic there. Okay. Because training, of course, does have a nutrition factor. I'm going to focus on that recruitment just a little bit more. Still need a thousand image equipment. God damn it. If we look at our production, we're just producing image equipment, so we'll up that, but again, the factories right now. We've got two factories. Right, we'll focus on reinforcements again, and I think we'll just deploy you. Oh, Ethiopia, that was quick. Again, I could train him. Uh, I don't think they'll be trained in time for the war, though. So I'm not going to bother. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it'll be useful. If they get damaged, it'll be useful training them up. Because that way, if they get damaged, they can drop below trained. So might as well get them to the rate where they can't drop that far. Okay, we're in May now, so we're looking at war in less than two weeks. Let's stop that exercise. Check the timer. Expect to finish the 27th. Okay. We're also going to start declaring against Zaibei. Took 180 days, costing 36. Okay. Because ideally we want to go from one war straight into the next war. So if we have War goals lined up, that's great. Remember, this is all about speed. Hell, if we could inject this war intravenously, we would. Um, maybe I should change these units to those fours rather than the sixes that they currently are. Because then we could have more infantry guns. Yeah, it's the infantry weapons we need. We don't really care about anything else, actually. Just get that back up to trained again. There you go. And that means we can actually delete that. Edit this, and we're just going to rename this. Uh, you are going to be infantry. I know it's a boring name, but... Whatever. Default. Update. Right. How are we doing with that reinforcement? Quite favorably, actually. Quite favorably, indeed. They're almost up there. We've got growing socialism. Excellent. Uh, we could go for the rectification campaign, which removes power struggles. I think we actually want to try and get ourselves an extra research slot. Even if we aren't going military, we'll need that later on. We can bypass this if we no longer have the national spirit low popular support. I don't think there are many ways to remove that. No, 
There are a few ways to remove it, but I don't think any of them come to mind. So yeah, we'll have to go this way. You can remove low popular support here. We'll grab that because we want to get the extra research slots. They're off on the left side of that tree. There we go. There's our war goal. Right. I'm going to make you equal priority with new units. And we're immediately going to go to war. So declare war. Retake core state. Declare. And before we unpause, we want you to attack you. We want you to come up here. You to attack you. That's just a hold in place, right? That is just our holding pattern. I want you to surround you. You to... Well, maybe not you to attack. You to attack. You to move up to here. You to come over here, maybe? Go around. And then here's the two that are really important to me. We want you to come around there, surround those. And I want you to make sure you go straight to their capital. We need to capture their capital and we need to hold it. Now, importantly, these attacks here are just to hold those units. Nothing else. We don't expect them to win. They're literally there to hit the units and hold them. The important part is we're trying to surround. Not really to kill them. Maybe just to slow them down again. We just need to hit their points before they can deploy extra units. Uh, we're going to upgrade you to the new gun. And that's ahead of time. So we probably will grab our production stuff at this point. You know what? I'll put that on hold for the moment. Can we build any more factories? No. Okay. You're almost there. Once you're around there, I think you probably will want to attack that one. Um. Oh, hello. Is that a new unit? That thing that's a new unit. They're deploying extra units already. One, two, three, four, five. That's kind of the maximum that I was accepting right now. Nationalist Spain is happening. Okay. Spanish Civil War. Okay, if you could keep holding them in place. They will be deploying extra units. Got to be fully aware of that. That is going to be something that we're going to have to look out for. Because if they deploy units here and hit us while we're just charging away with our very weak units, they will win. And we need to make sure we are holding this land. You know what? Grab this area to prevent them spawning people in it. Can't really encircle there, so in fact... If you're going to take that, you... Try and take that. Okay, we've got their capital. They've moved to here. I don't think that has a victory point cost. Like, that's three victory points, right? I don't think that one actually has a victory point cost associated with it. So I think we're just looking at covering their land. Really? Insufficient steel? Oh. Um, that's all good, because that means we need to send them a construction factory. We don't have many of those. Soviet Union. Hello. You're nearby. How's that war doing? 71% towards capitulation, so we just need to cover more land. But my fear is that they're going to be deploying units very soon. And the last thing we want to do is get into a protracted war. That's not the goal here.
Okay. There we go. They just spawned a unit. Two units in the same place. I'm going to try and take this out so we can free our units up down here. Okay. How close are they to capitulating? Wrong war. Oh, 87! That's not going to finish fast. So you know what? Just run up here and just grab land. You might be able to finish it just by doing that. Oh, crap. Nope. No, 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 no. I didn't notice that was a thing. Uh... Crap. Need to stop them doing that. How long till you get there? Two days. How long till you move? Seven days. Yeah, we're okay there. Okay, you continue to hold them down. You engage there. You can surround them. So it was taking longer than I wanted, but we should still be able to win it. The problem is that, remember, this is timetabled. We need to grab things fast or we will lose the war. And again, we're not going to fight that. We're just going to go around and we're going to grab more provinces. We're going to get them peace out. By sheer tenacity. This, I don't really want to move much from there because I'm afraid about that. Eighty-nine. Hey, we're gonna have to hold them in place. It's another unit. Can I deploy extra units? Uh, yes, I can deploy one. Great, you're in. Enjoy. You're going to be needed up here. Okay, how are we doing? That, we're winning. That's going to free up some units, which is going to be great. You just go straight in there. Yes! Right. Retake core states. Done. There we go. Now, question. How many units do you have? What's our first November? Okay. Seven to nine. We only have ten. So we are behind the curb now because we need to have, like, ideally like fourteen. So everyone get on that line, maybe do some like exercises or whatever. Need it. Oh, infantry equipment. Okay. How are we doing now on our factories? Uh, do, 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 factory production. Three military factories. Okay, construction. Build me a military factory. Yes, we can build a military factory. Sweet. Build two of them. We'll be finished next year. I was like, 18th of July? That's awfully soon. That's five days. Oh, next year. Okay. Uh, that much of a choice. Um, great. God damn it. We need the numbers because we need to be able to hold them in place and push past them. And remember that their units might be better than ours. Oh, we've got some pretty trash units. They're just four infantry divisions in one unit.
Man, this is all about speed. Hitting them before they get no more. Cornered no more. The Red Army once survived in a state which seemed like hopelessness, but with sin but uh, since the long march several years back, the tide has slowly turned. With significant terracotta oil advances, our role as underdog is now a thing of the past. Having thought we're still an underdog, mate. Having thought through this time of struggle, our desperation is now behind us. Mao Zedong has gone from guerrilla army leader to chairman. There we go. Division defense and division recovery rate. Hmm. Oh wait, he loses that? Oh no. Okay. I think we've got to focus on high equipment priority. We think we, not for reinforcement, but for actually like deploying units, I think we need it. Land redistribution, excellent. We just see program for the extra slot. Go back down to two, because it's going to be just as difficult. Okay, there is a slight gap at the top here. But we were extra slow. We should have just ignored most of that and just had like a load of units spammed and just conquered their land by just running over it. Not cared about the quality of our units. The games are concluded. Right. I'm going to deploy these two, and I'm going to switch back to reinforcement. Which is 13 units. Maybe a couple more, like 14 was my minimum, we're on 13. Deploy. Ah, it's not 20%, it's 10%. Sweet. Okay, all of you get on the front line. It's 15 units. It's more than they have. However, the quality is probably severely lacking. Uh, can I see any information about their units? Four to five, okay. So they might have the same as us. Three to five, yeah, they probably have the same as us. They probably have four infantry in a pack. The cavalry, though, is like eight cavalry. Maybe seven. Leadership purges in Soviet Union. Improve relations with you. UFC program, excellent. Get an extra slot. We are... Um, how far away from getting any of these? Pretty far. If equipment gives us something else that we can't build, so that's useless. Mass Assault. Yeah, start on Mass Assault. National Focus. Infrastructure building slots. More support and stability, maybe. Two off-map civilian factories. Straight up, we're doing that. That will massively increase our speed. I think we've only got six at the moment, right? Maybe, maybe even less, because one of them's trading. Owned six. Consumer goods, two. Train goods, one. So that gives us, what, four? For some reason? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be tough. Ooh, hello. Chinese power struggle. Border clashes. Prospect for resources. Okay, so these are several of our core decisions. Um, border clashes allows us to... The training of the Chinese forces, everyone looks to pick their battles carefully. This gives them the opportunity to see some valuable terrain without engaging in all that warfare. You can stage an incident and then have like a limited war over one province. Uh, Chinese power struggle is you can try and take the national leadership. However, it does require you to have a certain amount of... Um, Political support points, which is a thing which we just don't have right now. It's not a thing for us. Proof work condition. Mm. 
We decrease factory output. I don't think we can afford that. Decrease war support. I don't think we can afford that. Yeah, I don't think any of that's going to be of interest to us. Not this time, at least. Right. We're going for war, what, the 1st? 1st November. Yeah, you're not going to be fully trained before then. We have to stop training you relatively soon as well. Stop training. And I'm also going to then move a lot of units to here manually. Everyone else can balance it out by themselves, but I want a lot of units here. Because we're going to surround using those units. Yeah, I know we've got the war goal. Wait for it. I need the units in place. Are you moving up here to... I don't know, you're moving that way and that's all I need. Right. Three, two... Three, two... Way more weeks spent doing this than I really should have. There we go. I can finally declare war. But that'll have to be for next episode. So I've been Andrew If you have liked, please remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And next episode, we'll see if we pull this off. It is way later than it should have been. God damn it, 9 to 12. We'll see if we can pull this off. Until then, like, subscribe. Feel free to check out the Patreon, support the channel. And of course, stay shiny.